Hello and hola mi amigos. Uh, so something that I want to do on this channel in general is uh, have very quick um, videos that I produce for you that are not, well n none of my videos are scripted. Uh, some will require more thought and editing than others um, and some will just be high level, some will be more in depth. Some, like this one, are just going to be examples of day-to-day -day use of the tools and systems that I have to help me with my job and with uh, side projects. Um, a lot of, or all of that, essentially, uh, involves a computer and various systems, and I have automated as much as I possibly can. So, um, as I'm going through my day right now, I need to create a, a series of documents and emails uh, for a release, um, an application release with my job. Um, so, what I do, or have done, is I have built in Keyboard Maestro, I have put together a, one second actually, let me find it. Uh, I've put together a series of automations that will create two documents and three emails, I believe. Um, so I'll, well, I'm not going to go through the Keyboard Maestro script or however you want to define this. I'm not going to go through it in detail, but just want to show you what these look like. So this, this one actually, the build release plan, this is, and you'll see it in action. I want to show you in action, but this is actually going to go through the document based on information that I provide and put it together for me. So all these rules here will get that job done. So anyways, um, and then that's another document it's going to do. It's going to create some emails, blah, blah, blah. I will walk you through the details of what makes that run in a future video. Let's go ahead and kick this off. So what I have it do first is prompt for the type of release. So uh, select the business process owner type and select the release type. And based on those, um, various rules are triggered. If I would select business, it would do something different. If I would select support, it would do something different. And you can mix and match. Next, release ID. release title and this is the document date and actually let me do make that more consistent all right so let's kick it off see how it works So as this is running, my hands are off the keyboard. Obviously my computer is busy working. If I would move the mouse, it would interfere with the process as it runs. So I'm just sitting here, um, not doing anything except talking in my microphone. Uh, what I typically do when this runs, even though it doesn't take long, is I literally make a cup of coffee, um, just because I can. Uh, but you could do whatever you need to do at this point because the computer is doing all the work. What it's doing right now is creating the release plan. It finished that, now it's jumping over to the user acceptance testing approval document. And we're adding in all of the information. Once it finishes with this, it is going to create a few emails for me. We send our documents for approval via email. So we have one email for the release plan, one email for the user acceptance testing approval, and then one email for the go no-go, and then we're done. So now 
Um, I keep these emails up. I just need to edit a few things here, but they're otherwise created for me. These documents are all but done. So now I'll just go in. Again, anything that I have to do is now what takes the longest. And there's probably other things that I could do to speed up this process. I just kind of check everything, make sure it's all right, but this document is done. So again, that's just a quick example of uh, using Keyboard Maestro to create um, two, release document two release documents and three release related emails. Um, total time is probably going to be about five minutes between inputting the information, the automation running, and then me going back in and cleaning things up or adding additional information that I didn't want to automate or could not automate. Um, so five minutes uh, for five different artifacts that are needed for our releases. Uh, the work just gets done and then I send them off for approval and that's that. So again, just a very quick uh, example of one way that I use Keyboard Maestro. Leave any questions that you have um, in the comments below and if anything uh, looks like it should be another video, I'll do another video, but I do plan on uh, walking you through in more detail exactly how I built those um, different uh, routines to run in Keyboard Maestro. Until then, thanks for watching. Cheers.